Hello, we're Tom and Louise Dixon, and we're from East Tennessee, and we're Shag Dancers. And we love to shag dance. Shag is more than just the dance steps. Shag is a social experience that can last a lifetime. Louise and I have been dancing together for 20 years, 25 years or so now, and we've had many teachers all through those years, all over the Southeast and other places that have been very willing to share their information and their techniques with us. We highly recommend that each of you find a shag club in your area and a teacher that you can relate to. But in the meantime, we'd like to do our best to share with you what we've learned over the years and how we can help you learn to enjoy and love the shag dance. So, what we're going to teach you tonight are the shag basics. So, if you're a beginner, this is the class for you. In shag dance, it's a partner dance. You would imagine that we are on a diving board. It's a slot dance. So you dance in about the space of the diving board. Uh, the male lead is on one end and the female follower uh, is on the other end. And we connect in the middle and we have some resistance in this connection. For example, we can lean backwards and you can feel the resistance here. You try to have it be smooth and not noticeable, but I have a strong hook that I put over his hand. And in my hand, I use what they call a pistol grip. One finger out, thumb is not up, but I make sure that I have these three fingers always in this position so she can always get that hook. Now typically what I'll do is I'll put the, this, uh, my index finger on the side of her hand and my thumb on the top. I don't press because that can hurt, so it just lays there on the top, but that is the, the uh, lead grip. You can imagine that uh, shag is a, a smooth version of swing, and so this is a smooth dance. And so you can imagine that our hands are on a, a fence post. We're not going to have a lot of bouncing hands. It's going to be smooth. So when we're dancing, Everything pretty much happens from the waist down. It's all in the feet and the, in the knees and the hips. Your head should be pretty much level through the whole time, and you don't pick your feet up a lot. We basically, when we're dancing, our feet rarely leave the floor. What we'd like to demonstrate to you uh, tonight is some steps that we're going to be doing that just require the basic shag. So the simple basic shag that we're teaching in this section, you can do lots of steps with that shag, turns and fun things. So we're going to demonstrate some shag steps. So ladies are going to go right, left, right, 
men are going to go left, right, left. So it looks like this. One and two, three and four. On five, six, you're going to rock backward on the ball of your foot. Five, six. We'll turn sideways so you can see how this looks. We're going to do the basic. One and two. We're going to go back. Three and four. And then a rock step. Rock step. We'll turn away so you can see our feet. It looks like this. One and two, three and four, rock, step. When you're just learning the basic, you can do it in place. One and two, three and four, rock, step. One and two, three and four, rock, step. But you need to get that basic in your, in your head and just go over and over and over. So, when we are dancing, it looks like this. One and two is the front of our basic. Three and four is the middle of our basic. And then a rock step is at the back of our basic. We have our hand on the fence post and we're smooth. So it looks like this. One and two, three and four, five, six. One and two, three and four, five, six. And that's the basic with the feet. The next thing that we want to teach you, after you've done that, and you can practice at home alone, always better with a teacher and with a partner, but if you don't have that, start practicing now so when the time comes, you're ready to dance. So the next thing we want to teach you is a female underarm turn. And it starts with the basic, and then he's going to take me into a turn. I'm still doing exactly the same feet, and, and so is the, the male lead do, doing the same feet. And Todd's going to talk about the lead on this. So when I do the lead, uh, one thing, ladies, is remember to always follow your dance hand. So on the female, tur female turn, the lead is I'm pulling the female this way and raising the hand up. That lets her know that she's coming this way. And then we go by each other and come back down. Now, the thing to be uh, aware of is you don't want to come through and go like this. You don't want to get her out of alignment, get her out of balance, and, and get her a little bit lopsided. Basically, you just want to come in and you want to just barely clear her hair. Uh, so that way, um, she stays balanced and you don't pull her off her center of, of gravity. And you'll notice that when we do this, we're changing places on the diving board. So it will be basic, three and four, five, female turn, one and two, three and four. Now another basic, one and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. We like to teach in patterns so that you can uh, memorize the pattern. It makes it easy when the music comes on and you're on the dance floor. So you have something, uh, 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 steps in order that you want to practice on. So after we've done the female turn, then we'll do the male turn. So Todd will talk about the lead. So on the male turn, like I said, when we did the female turn, I pulled her hand this way and she knew she was going someplace. On the male turn, it goes this way. Well, that's not pulling her any place. So ladies, your, your hand is not really going anywhere at this point. But basically, then I start pulling her this way. And so then she knows she's going by, and I just go through that little tunnel that I've just created for myself. There again, I just want to get over the top of my head. I don't want to stretch her out to where she gets out of balance. So it looks like this, so five, six. Five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six. Now the difference, real quick difference in when you do between a female and male turn is when I take her hand up, my fingers are basically just right here in the center and it uses as a pivot point. So it goes right over her head like that. When I'm going the other way, my thumb becomes that pivot point. And I put my thumb in there. Take her over and bring the hand right back down. 
So we're going to put that together, a basic, a female turn, a basic, a female turn, a basic, a male turn, a basic, a male turn. So it looks like this. One and two, three and four, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, basic, three and four, five, female turn, one and two, three and four, five, six, basic, it's going to be a male turn, five, six, one and two, three and four, five, six, basic, it's going to be a male turn, one and two, three and four, five, six. So you've learned the basic, a female turn, the basic, a male turn, you're ready to start dancing. After you've learned that basic step with the basic female turn, basic male turn, then you're ready to move on. So we'll have more in our next video, a lot of basic steps for beginners to move forward.